with one member of the two and staff member and let him for an hour and a half talk. They're going to each get their five minutes and that means no consistent questions. Thank you, panel. My comment. See you next Sunday. Up next, our power player will make an inside look at one of Washington's most prestigious and most private columns. famous building here that's off limits to all but a few. Here is our power player of the week. We recently had Korea visit. Matthew Wendell is talking about heads of state visiting Blair House, the presidential guest mansion across from the White House. The general manager gave us a rare look behind the scenes there. Mr. Wendell? Hello, welcome to Blair House. Good morning, Chris. Over more than seven decades, Blair House has been Washington headquarters for visitors like Winston Churchill and Queen Elizabeth, Nikita Khrushchev and Vladimir Putin, Benjamin Netanyahu and Emmanuel Macron. Total of rooms was about 119. The square footage is close to 70,000 square feet and full-time staff of uh, 15. In effect, it's a hotel. We consider Plaza Hotel home bed and breakfast. <laughs> the heck of a bed and breakfast. Francis Preston Blair, a member of Andrew Jackson's kitchen cabinet, bought the house in 1836 for $6,500. But that's just the start of its place in history. Chris, this, this is the Lincoln Room. It's called that because when Luke was president, he often came over here to get advice from the Blairs. Blair House took on a new role in 1942 during World War II when Churchill used to stay at the White House. He was being up late at night, having a drink or two, waking up the president, and Mrs. Roosevelt just was, had had enough. So they bought Blair House. Yes. So now the Trumans arrive at their new home, ready to set up housekeeping. In Washington, the presidential address is the Blair House. Starting in 1948, Harry Truman lived here four years, while the White House was under renovation. This is what's called the Lee dining room. Back in Truman's days, he used this table and these chairs as his cabinet room. It was also where we made the decision to join the Korean War. But in 1950, two Puerto Rican nationalists tried to shoot their way into their house and kill the president. President Truman continues to take his daily walks. In December, President Trump walked across the street from the White House to meet with former President George W. Bush at Blair House. The former first family stayed there on George H. W. Bush's state funeral in Washington. And that's it for today. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Fox News Sunday. Discover the all-new HP OfficeJet Pro today and learn about HP's ink delivery service at hp.com slash OfficeJetPro. 
I'm someone who escaped war, who escaped a really horrifying situation to enter uh, a country, a neighboring country.